Do you want the best God has to offer? Do you want a life that, that, God, that God would say, I want, I, if God says, I want to give you my best, I want you to live. The, the, do you, you want that, don't you? Okay, do you think unbelievers don't? Don't unbelievers want the best? Okay, well, there is only one best. We could go better, 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 but there is a best. All right, stay with me. Most people think that a culture is created by choices and decisions. This is just the way we work in the United States right now. This is where we have come to. And you hear people talking about it. Just want to make good choices. We're just trying to make good choices. Was that a good choice? That wasn't a good choice. I made a bad choice. I made a bad decision. I made, I'm taking responsibility for it. I know if I hurt other people, I, please, if I have offended, I, I just, I made a bad decision. I made a bad choice. We talk to kids about this. We say, okay, now, you gonna make a good choice today? I'm going to make good decisions today. We're going to make good decisions today, right? And then they come home and we talk about something. We say, now, why was that not a good choice? Now, tell me. Why? Now, do we know why that wasn't good? And, and you know, little kids, I'll tell you something. They don't know. <laughs> That's like taking somebody out in the backyard and say, all right, here's your dime. Flip it. And I want heads every time. Come on, heads every time. We're going to get heads every time today. heck am I going to get heads every time? But see, there is a flaw in this and this is where the crack is because of the choices and decisions. They are not what creates the culture. Choices and decisions are merely a little piece of, of road work along the way. I'll tell you what it is that creates the culture. What creates the culture, the basis of everything is our thinking. It's our thinking. Nobody wants to talk about it because it's, it's kind of, it seems kind of rude. We don't, we don't even know what to say. I mean, we, because the choices and decisions, that seems, okay, you know, okay, choices. But if you say to somebody, dude, you're thinking, your very thinking is just so unbelievably, out. I mean, you're saying something's wrong with my mind? <laughs> you're, saying I got, yeah, you're, you're saying I got mental problems? I mean, it's offensive. It can be. And, and we don't know how to talk about it, even if we suspect it. And so what we do is we default to choices and decisions. But let me tell you why that is so dangerous to default to choices and decisions when it's really our thinking. Because we cannot control our choices and decisions without first gaining control of our thinking. Because our choices and our decisions are absolutely determined by how we think, what we think how long we think about it, what we choose not to think. Our thinking, I heard, I think it was Mike talked about pornography last night. Our thinking is what actually determines what is and what isn't. You know, the, the, there was this big whole court brouhaha, I still read about that occasionally. People say, well, I, I don't know what pornography is, but I know it when I see it. But they can't define it. <laughs> Okay, well, let me define it for you. Let me define it for you. Because it's not nude. That's not what pornography is. Why is Venus de Milo art and this certain magazine over here pornography? I'll tell you exactly why. It's because of what it makes you think. It's what you're thinking. Our thinking determines our choices and our decisions. Our choices and decisions, what are they? What do they choose? What do they decide? They decide an action. Good ones, bad ones. I mean, e e even, even the choice to do nothing is an action. And we've all seen people who had the kind of thinking that led them to choose the action of, I'm going to sit right there. I'm not going to do anything. I'll show them. <laughs> so even the choice to do nothing is an action. 
The actions always, always yield results. Good results, bad results, but they always yield results. And those results float away from us a little bit and they never leave. They just kind of build up in this little cloudy atmosphere. And this little cloud gets thicker and thicker as we put more results in it. And this ring of results that surrounds us, it becomes magnetic. It can become magnetic. And, and, it, and this ring of results brings opportunity and it brings help and it brings advice and it brings good words and it brings good, it, 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 it can be incredibly magnetic. It can also be incredibly repelling and it can keep people away and keep opportunity away and keep jobs away. And, I mean, we have a word for this ring of results in our society. We call that ring of results a reputation. That's what we call it. And it's tough to shift that ring once it gets going one way. It can be done, but it's a tough thing to do. But that ring of result, that reputation, it, it, it becomes what we call our culture. That results that your family has, that's what we call your culture. The, the results that Gateway has this is the culture of this church. It's, it's incredible. And, and, it's, and, and a lot of people see it because of the results. And, but I'm going to tell you something. It's all, all, every bit of it, because of the thinking that the ba was the basis of everything. All right, now listen. Stay with me here. It is possible to jump out of line. Because we have seen people, we've seen people that had some scandal, they got caught, there was something crazy happened, they did something, and they stand in front of us, I'm not, I, boy, I'm so sorry, I, I made a bad choice, and I'm certainly taking responsibility for it, it was a bad decision, I shouldn't have done that, and I, boy, I, I will never do that again, you would never see me acting like that again, I'm not that person anymore, I, I, you will never see that out of me, because I'm making different choices now, I'm a totally different person, and true enough, for a while, they can jump out of line and they can pay extreme attention. They can make different choices, different decisions, and they can act differently and they can have some different results. But baby, if that thinking doesn't change, pretty quickly you're gonna see them shift right back into that same thing that was going in the beginning.